guys, welcome back to my channel. If you've been following me along on my Italy vlogs, you'll know that now I am in Florence. Right now, we just checked into our Airbnb and this place is so cute. It's actually at the outdoor terrace, which also has a hot tub. There's a little garden area, a seating area. It's just so cute and tucked away and it's super quiet here. This is a huge hot tub that's enclosed in this little dome. Those are our neighbors. So this is the kitchen area which we won't be using. Sorry it's a little dark but washer and dryer which we don't really see a lot in Italy so we're happy that we have both washer and dryer in unit. Bathroom, really spacious. And then, whoa! Shower's huge. Bedroom number one, and this is bedroom number two. Fun fact, I actually studied abroad in Florence back when I was in college for a couple months. When I was first going to study abroad, I was really scared to go by myself. So I didn't do the year and I ended up doing just one semester. But I remember after that semester ended, I regretted not doing the full year because I just love it here so much. So I'm so excited to be back! I think Florence is definitely my favorite city in Italy just because there's so many memories tied to this place for me. And not only that, but the food here is so good. So I'm really excited to be here with Andrew. So today we are actually going to Galleria Academia to see David, the famous statue. And before that, we have a bit of time to kill. So we're probably gonna end up getting some street food because we haven't eaten anything today besides coffee. Andrew was already saying how he thinks Florence will be his favorite city in Italy. Favorite. Why? I don't know. It just feels right. The vibes? <laughs> We are right in front of the Duomo now. I feel like it's the main attraction of Florence. That is gorgeous. to come back to Eduardo, which is a gelateria right by the Duomo. When I was in college, this was literally my favorite gelato spot and I used to come here all the time with my friends. Their cones are all made in-house and as soon as you step in, you can literally smell the cones being made and it smells so good. This is the cinnamon and hazelnut. My go-to's. It's still so good. Next, we went to the sandwich shop in Florence. I'm sure you've all heard of it. The ingredients here are so fresh and we shared the Paradiso because the portions are huge, but honestly, whatever you pick from the menu is gonna be good. So we are at Santa Croce now, which is a bit more low key than the Duomo, but it's still so pretty. And right in front, there's a little market. A ton of street food and little shops here and there. We're so full, we're probably gonna go to our Airbnb and rest up a little bit before heading to Piazzale Michelangelo to see the sunset. There is no place I'd rather be than right here next to you. And I truly love to talk about your lover's old 
and new You never spare me details as you We're so lazy to come out of our Airbnb, but we made it to Piazzale Michelangelo. Well, we're going there now. It's a bit of a hike. I know, it gets better. I'll show you the view from up there. Our second gelato of the day at my other favorite gelateria called La Caraya. I got the pistachio white chocolate and cookies, which is one of my favorite combos. Dark chocolate and mixed berry. Don't add us. We're at an Asian supermarket looking for some kimchi because it's been a week with just pizza and pasta and my Koreanness is craving some Korean food so tonight we're gonna have some cup ramen as a snack They have food up now? They didn't have this when I studied abroad wow. Pizza and pasta is really good and all but I just need that dank ramen soup to like cut through all the pizza and pasta grease and then I'll be good to eat another round of pizza and pasta for the next week Ending the night with some cup ramyeon, onion ring chips, kimchi and a Korean drama Good morning from Florence This is our first full day here Right now it's like 10 a.m. and we're gonna go get our first cappuccino we're actually going to the central market right now which is right by our next lunch spot at Zaza also one of my favorite restaurants we're probably gonna get some souvenirs there stuff to bring back home and grab a coffee before going to lunch it felt so good to sleep in today because the last week we were waking up really early to start our days light drizzle Okay, so the central market is this amazing food and produce market with lots of history. Locals and tourists love going there to explore all the fresh and vibrant fruits, vegetables, meats, and cheeses from the Tuscany region. What's even more exciting is that they recently renovated the top floor, turning it into a haven for street food and gourmet cuisine. So if you're ever in Florence, you don't want to miss out on this market. It's a must-see spot where you can experience the lively and wonderfully chaotic atmosphere and true essence of an Italian market. We're at the Central Market now and got ourselves a cup of coffee before heading to lunch but as we were coming here, there were so many yummy looking things that we can bring back home. The bolognese pasta, but he swapped it out for papadelli, which is actually born in Tuscany. This is when you know it's really good. When you're sad, when it's the last bite. We always get a magnet every time we visit a new city, and what better way to describe Florence than with David's butt? Okay, now we are at the Gucci Garden. There's actually three parts to this. So there's a Gucci cafe, there's a restaurant, and there's a museum. I really wanted to go to the museum today, so hopefully there's not a big wait, and then probably get some cappuccino.
have the Gucci Cafe and we wanted to check out the museum but they're renovating right now so we couldn't go to the museum but we still got cappuccino and I still got my goods so it's fun I seriously love La Caraya, it's so good. Oh, that Nutella one's good. Yeah. We just came back to our Airbnb to freshen up a bit and I also had to get some work done. But now we both just got changed. We're actually going to try Florentine steak for the first time. I'm so excited because Florentine steak is supposed to be really popular here. And last time when I was studying abroad in Florence, I didn't really get to try Florentine steak properly because I was too poor and I didn't have money as a college student. So I'm really excited to go to a spot that's really known for their Florentine steak. Oh, and their pastas look really good too. So we're probably going to get that on the side. You know how if you order steak anywhere, they'll likely ask you, would you like it raw or medium or well done? Well, in Florence, they're not going to ask you that. They just do it one way, which is pretty rare. So if you don't like rare steak, I don't recommend you trying Florentine steak. It's the only classy restaurant that we're going to here in Florence. I'm pretty excited. I'm gonna drink some wine tonight. so full did you like it i loved it I, you know i thought for a second that the meat inside would be cold because of how rare it was no it was really good but yeah it was it was really good okay bye bye <laughs> time to sleep because i had two glasses of wine <laughs> <laughs> good morning everybody good morning we are going to the central market again it's really early because he really wants to try the tripe sandwich, which is... That's not what it's called. Oh, what is it called? <laughs> Lampredotto. Lampredotto. Lamp. Lampredotto. It's basically a tripe sandwich. I have no interest in trying it. <laughs> Maybe I'll take a bite because, you know, you never know. I'll, I'll try everything at least once, but my gut tells me that I'm not going to like it. So I'm just really going because he wants to try it. <laughs> It's like slow cooked in a vegetable broth. There's different herbs, aromatics. Pretty sure they use other parts of the cow's intestine in there. Not really sure. <laughs> well, that's that's so nice. Whoa! So close here. We almost got into car accidents like 50 million times here. Let's try it. I like this thing. with us weather's like really weird this week in Florence so I just changed again to some comfortable clothes a 
short sleeve because now it's sunny but I think it might rain again later who knows we're on our way to get lunch now and then I think we're gonna go to Bobbly Gardens after to go eat at Osteria Santo Spirito it's actually one of my favorite I know I keep saying favorite but this one is actually really good too it really is one of my favorites and if you ever get a chance to visit Florence come here and get their truffle gnocchi it's so good I'm sad that it's our last full day and we can't try it but it's okay it actually works out because I wanted to take him to Gusta Pizza another one of my favorites but then I don't think we would have had time to try it if we went to Osteria Santo Spirito so We'll just have pizza for lunch and this one's really good too. I have high hopes. I don't think they're closed and I can smell it. Honey, I think it's the two pizza places we just passed by that you smell. <laughs> <laughs> There's a line but they're open. garden is massive and be prepared to hike a lot up these steps and hills. You get a nice view though. for the rain to pass. It's like the rain didn't even happen because now it's all sunny. After we got home from the Bobbly Gardens, we were so cold and freezing so we went into our hot tub at the backyard of our Airbnb and it was so nice. That was so nice. It felt like our muscles were all tensed up before that and then as soon as we plunged in, it was so good. Now we're having our final dinner in Florence. Uh -huh. And we decided to go back to Zaza. He really loves Zaza. Oh man, that wongole. <laughs>
best gelato in Florence, right by the Duomo. I'm so sad. Good morning, everyone. So right now, we're just packing up, cleaning up our things from this Airbnb because we're checking out. Just wanted to close out this vlog and say thank you so much for following us along on our Florence adventures. Florence is definitely one of my favorite cities because I had so many memories here back in college and all the food, the people, the streets, everything is just perfect and I definitely see myself coming back here again in the future. But now we are all packed up to head to our next destination which is Milan. We're spending about two and a half days there and I will still be vlogging so make sure you follow along. I will leave all the restaurants and places that we visited down in the description box so make sure you check that out and I'll see you guys next week in Milan.